it's Michelle. I'm here to do my monthly Ipsy. <laughs> I'm here to do my monthly Ipsy unboxing and try on. Before I get started, I wanted to let you know, I do know there's a couple of you that specifically come here each month to watch my Ipsy videos. I will not be doing Ipsy in uh, December or January. I'm moving and I have put all of my subscriptions on hold until after the move. I'm not sure if I'll be renewing all of my subscriptions or not, but I can assure you I will be renewing Ipsy. It's my favorite one and I, there's no doubt in my mind that I want to keep getting it. So, um, this month I have the Ipsy Glam bag. This is for me, I, I think I pay a little bit more because of taxes. Um, each state is different, but I pay $13 a month for this. And then I've got the Glam Bag X. And this one I get every three months, and it's $50 every three months. And then on the months in between, I get the Glam Bag Plus, which, how much is that? I can't even remember. 27 37 Anyway, I've been getting it for years. I want to say it's been three and a half years now that I've been getting Ipsy. And I just think it's a really fun way to try new products. I think if you don't want to try a lot of products, just get the Ipsy Glam Bag. It's just such a fun thing every month to get and to try. And I've considered a few times going back to just getting the Ipsy Glam Bag. But the Ipsy Glam Bag X it seems to always have items that are things that I love in it. So what I might do is see if I can just stop getting the plus on the months in between the Glam Bag X. I don't know if they allow that, though. If you know, let me know. Okay. <laughs> so like the last couple months, I'm just going to open each of these and then decide what to try on. Hopefully there'll be some fun Thanksgiving things in here. Oh, I like this bag. I make it a point to wait until after I've opened my bag and box to look at other people's unboxings. So I had no idea that I was getting this gorgeous bag. I really like this. Isn't that pretty? It's very fall too. Okay, and we've got a card in here. Uh, it looks like they're having some Black Friday sales at Ipsy. I'm currently not trying to buy anything. I'm trying to get rid of a bunch of stuff because I'm moving. So I won't be participating in that, but maybe next year. <laughs> it says, your throne awaits. Lather on ultra moisturizing formulas. Adorn with accessories and indulge in extra dessert because this month it's all about you. And then inside, there's a little breakdown of what I'm getting and what the MSRP for each item is. Ooh. Okay, this is that brand. I can never pronounce it. We? Oh, we. Why? I don't know. <laughs> How do you say this? I have no idea. Anyway, it's Detox Shampoo which I'm a big fan of detoxing or detoxifying shampoo. It makes me think of back in the 90s, there was that clear Neutrogena shampoo that was so great. You could get all the product out of your hair. We'll see if that's what this is like. Okay, this is not like that, though. I'm looking at the little explanation, and it says that it has apple cider vinegar in it. Well, I don't know if I'm going to like it then. I tend to not like apple cider vinegar in my shampoos. But I will try it. The MSRP for the full size is $30. And that's part of why I love this. I can try things that I probably wouldn't want to buy a $30 bottle and find out that I don't like it. But I can 
spend $13 a month on a bag, get some things to try and find out that way if I like it. And if I do like it, well, this is a perfect thing to take with me on the road if I'm going on vacation or just going for a weekend away or something like that. I wonder what it smells like. Does it smell like? The good news is it smells clean. It doesn't smell like vinegar because I don't really want my hair to smell like a salad. Then there is cake heavy cream, shea butter and vanilla deeply moisturizing. It's body butter balm. Oh, very nice. The MSRP for a full size is $8.99. That's not bad. Oh, here, let me show you up close. That's not bad at all. $8.99 for body butter? If I like this, I will definitely buy more than because they're usually at least $15 when I when I buy body butter. Okay, it's got aloe vera, coconut oil, shea butter, and green tea extract. And it says you can kiss dry winter skin goodbye. Nice. It smells like cotton candy, I think, which I'm not complaining about. Do you remember that stuff in the early 2000s, the cotton candy body spray that everybody was wearing? I had a friend that wore it all the time and I used to get so hungry whenever I was around her. <laughs> okay, then we have Sophia and Maybelle Lip Slick Tinted Lip Oil in Beach, Please. It's got a pink tint in Beach, Please. All right, and the MSRP on this is $20. It feels like this is for the summer, so I'm not sure why they're sending it right now, but the beach place throws me off. It makes me want to wait till summer to open it. I have another one of these, and the, the oil part, it feels like there's some chemicals in there, like not just straight oil. And I don't like this, the flavor slash scent of it. Like I'm using it anyway. I'm trying to use all of it, but I'm not a big fan. I wasn't planning on repurchasing it or anything. So I'm not real sure if I want to keep this because I didn't really care for the other one. I'll have to think about it, see what I want to do with it. And then um, I've got Good Glow Blush. The full size is $30. <laughs> I'm just going to rip it. I couldn't get it out. So it is what it is. <laughs> but I do tend to really like this brand. So I'm not really worried about opening it or using it. Ooh, look at that color. Can you see that? It's this beautiful kind of a peachy pink color with little gold flecks in it. I'm going to have to try that. And then it says there's one more thing in the other bag. Okay. This is a Bell and Argent crease and blend brush, which I use these all the time when I put my eyeshadow on. So I could definitely use more. That way I can clean my brushes more often because apparently I don't clean them enough. <sighs> the MSRP for this is $16 and this is the full size. Um, this is soft synthetic bristles. All right. So that is my bag. I'm pretty happy with it. The only thing that I'm kind of like is the, the, the lip oil. <laughs> <laughs> Not as excited about that one, but the rest of the items in here, I am excited to try. Ooh, what's in here? Okay. <laughs> I've been noticing, so I stopped getting some of the subscription boxes that I had been getting, and I've been noticing that now when I do get stuff like this, I'm a lot more excited to open it. I think I was getting too many 
boxes and I was losing my excitement for it. And I want to feel like a kid on Christmas morning again when I open things. So this month, Huda Catan is the celebrity that is contributing to the Glam Bag X. Um, she's the one that curated it. I hate to say this, but I'm, <laughs> when I saw her name, I didn't know who it was. Now that I see her picture, I think she is the lady from Huda Beauty, right? If you know, let me know in the comments, but this is her. Pretty sure that's who this is. So then inside, it'll show you things that she picked. Then there's stuff that Ipsy picks for her bag. And you kind of get to pick, I can't remember how many things I picked, maybe three items or two items. And then they just send me whatever they want for the other stuff. <laughs> It's kind of fun to get this little little newspaper here and read it. I like reading what the celebrities say about this stuff that they picked. So let's see what's in here. An oval paddle brush by Complex Culture. I almost said couture. Not to have no chance with this flexible cushioned brush. Oh, a brush. You know what? I could use a nice brush. The combination bristles gently detangle hair with soft ballpoint tips that massage over the scalp for smooth, silky brushing and styling. Uh, let's see. For anybody that's interested, it does have vegan boar bristles in it, which help Distribute natural hair oils and boost shine. Okay. So this is one of um, one of Ipsy's picks. Oh, look at that. That's kind of a neat brush, actually. Look. Isn't that cool? I've never seen one like that before, where it's got the bristles and the, like the hairs and the, the bristles. It's kind of cool. Okay. And the MSRP for this is $28. Then I've got, oh, this must have been Miss uh, Huda's pick. It says Huda Beauty Glow Cocoa Hydrating Mist. Is that upside down? There we go. And this one, she says, when I want even more radiance, I'll use this mist to dampen my makeup sponge instead of water. Oh. It says this is an essential in her kit. This multi-use face mist uses three different kinds of coconut Oh, three different kinds of coconut oil, milk, and water to prime your skin, set your makeup in place and refresh dye, dry, dull skin in an overall dewy look. I love a dewy look. <laughs> and the MSRP for this is $35. Oh, you know what? I'll, try, I'll just try this later. Okay. I'll show you what it looks like though. That's a nice packaging there, isn't it? Then I have gold fadden problem deep lines. Solution Needleless Line Smoothing Concentrate. Can I bathe in it? <laughs> this is one of Huda's picks. She says, press this serum into clean, dry skin to help boost absorption and efficacy. Fewer lines, no injectables needed. Sounds like a dream, right? Nope. This powerful anti-aging serum does just that with moisture-boosting hyaluronic acid and firming seaweed extract. The MSRP for this is $165. Okay. With Gratitude Dewy Lip Balm. Honor by Rare Beauty. 
Oh, that's this is another Huda pick. I'm I'm such a snob. I want the celebrities picks, not Ipsy's, because I feel like everything else I get is what Ipsy's picked, right? So look at this cool packaging here. Isn't that cool? I love how it's mailbox shaped. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting an exciting letter every time I open it, right? Or I will feel like that. Okay, the color is Honor, which is no color. <clears throat> she says, one coat gives the prettiest sheer wash, but I also love to layer it for an extra pop of color. Okay, it's got shea butter, botanical ingredients like lotus, gardenia, and white water lily to soothe dry chapped lips and help lock in moisture. This lip balm is $16. And some of them have color to them. So if you like having tinted um, lip balm for your lips, you might want to look this up, but like they're not all clear like this is what I'm trying to say. The one I'm looking at here is a beautiful burnt cinnamon color. Il Maquillage Dirty Talk Matte Lip Color. Dirty Talk, huh? Well, Brad will like this. Let's see, a maquillage. lipstick. Okay, well, the one that I have is not listed anywhere. It's kind of weird. It's lipstick. It says El Maquillage Dirty Talk, which, I mean, I'm fine with, but it's just kind of weird it wasn't listed anywhere. Here's the packaging on that. This is lipstick. A pretty color though, huh? Oh, and it's got the uh, magnet down there. Then iconic sheer blush. This is an Ipsy pick. Gel to water color blush that melts right into your skin to give you a soft lit from within flush. And it's $25 for this. Wishful Honey Balm. Here's the packaging, which is gorgeous. This is a enzyme scrub and it was a Huda pick. She says, unlike most scrubs, I designed this to be used over dry skin to save the water for your rinse off. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm weird that way. I only want to use water when I rinse things off. In fact, even then, unless I'm in the shower, even then, I really prefer using a wet washcloth. I don't really like putting my face down in the sink. It's this weird thing. I don't know if you're like that. If you are, please tell me. I'd love to know I'm not alone, <laughs> but I don't. I don't like putting my face down in the sink. Honey Balm Jelly Moisturizer. So it exfoliates and it moisturizes. 
Okay. Hmm. It doesn't really have much of a scent, so I don't know. I can't really tell you what it smells like. It just has a non-scent. So apparently Wishful is also something that Huda makes. Yeah, she designed it, so I'm very naive when it comes to Huda Beauty. <laughs> but I'm I'm interested in trying Huda Beauty, so I'm I was kind of now that I know who she is, I kind of wish the whole box was Huda products or products that she's picked because she is a pretty big person in the beauty world. I want to know what she likes and what she picks. Okay, so the last item is this. PMD, Clean Smart Facial Cleansing Device in Warmth, and it's $99 for this. And this is a Huda pick, and she says, work this in small circular motions while cleansing, and even your heaviest makeup won't stand a chance. Huh. It's a lifting and toning massage that purifies pores. Made with ultra hygienic silicone, it uses sonic vibrations to deep clean. It's waterproof, it's got an ergonomic design. And then the back you can also use to massage in serums. Yeah, you probably know what I was thinking. Can you use the back of it for something else? Can you? <laughs> Not that I would ever do that or anything, but... Okay. Oh, I see. So you can put it like this to put on your counter. All right. Um, <laughs> okay, I have to tell you guys, this is pretty heavy duty and I, you, you don't have to just use it on your face. I think you could use this end or this end somewhere else. <laughs> Make yourself happy in more ways than one. So let's see. It does feel really nice though. <laughs> I can't turn it off. <laughs> there we go. Okay. You have to push it down for a minute to turn it off. But I also like that it's got this stand here. Whoops. Well, when I put it down on the table, it stands very nice. But my hand apparently isn't flat enough. <laughs> Well, that was fun. <laughs> I'm going to try the um, blush. I'm just going to use a little bit because I don't know. It's a little bit go a long way. <laughs> Here's what it looks like on my finger. And I've never done this before, so if it looks awful, I don't know what to say. What do you think? Did I put too much on? Now in person it doesn't look quite as natural as it does on this camera. Let's see what else. Oh we had this other blush here. I'll just put this on my hand so you can see how it looks. Mm, you can't really see it, can you? Mm. 
Hmm. I mean, I can definitely see my veins on the camera, but I just don't see it at all on there. But here's what it looks like on my finger. It almost seems like it'd be a nice eyeshadow. <laughs> And then I'll try this lipstick. I'm going to put it on over my lip gloss that I have on. Isn't that a beautiful color? It's like... So fall, but even kind of winterish because it's kind of a, it's almost like a, like an apricot color, but cooler and darker. I think it's really pretty though. So I'm going to go ahead and finish my makeup. There wasn't a whole lot to try on in here today, but I think, I think the blush is nice. I don't know how much I'm going to use it though, because to be honest, I don't, with my cheeks being so red naturally, I tend to use bronzer and, um, since I don't wear a foundation, it's harder to put blush. Like if I wore a foundation, then I could just put blush on over it and it wouldn't matter that I have red cheeks, but I don't wear a foundation. So will I wear it again? I don't know. Um, I mean, it is kind of just a nice rosiness, but I'd have to be careful when I wore it because there's so many times where I already have plenty of natural rosiness. Although in the winter and the later end of um, fall, that's when I do tend to use blush. But during the summer, I'm with all the, the sun out, I really don't need <laughs> sun-kissed cheeks. But I might, you know, I might give it another chance. A time or two and I but I think this one because it's so natural looking off the brush I probably will get more mileage out of this one because I like a real faint blush if I'm going to wear it but I do think it might be kind of a pretty eyeshadow color as well maybe I'll just try it while I still have you here everything else I use is gonna be from this ABH modern renaissance palette it's kind of become my go-to palette i've been you can't tell too much but i've been using it constantly it lasts for a long time apparently but i don't know and i got this one from ipsy as well this was one of the chloe kardashian picks she said it's her favorite eyeshadow and i have found <laughs> Apparently, Chloe, Chloe Kardashian and I have very similar taste in makeup because pretty much everything in that box I have absolutely loved. Loved, loved, loved. So her and I might be makeup and skincare twins or something. This is what that looks like. I think it's kind of a fun, like bright pink with gold flecks in it eye look. It's, it's kind of enjoyable in my personal opinion. I am going to, off camera, I'll just finish my makeup because it, the rest of what I'm putting on has nothing to do with this box. But thank you so much for watching. Let me know what your favorite item was. Um, have you tried any of these products? And, um, I just want to remind you one more time in case you fast forwarded in the beginning, I will not be doing Ipsy in December or January because I'm moving and then I will commence my Ipsy unbagging and try-ons in February. 
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day or night. I love you. Bye. Thank you.